Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Hope you are having a great day so far. Today's video is a little bit festive. Deepavali or Diwali is coming up. So I was doing something for Instagram. I am doing some styling, outfit styling videos on Instagram. So I thought I will do my makeup today. And uh, when I thought let's do the makeup, I thought let's film it as well. And I was going to use some new products which are there in my collection. So I thought let me film it. We will use the new products in front of you as well as show you how to create this very simple, easy, festive makeup look. So if you want to see which are these new products in my collection, then please do kindly watch it. Okay guys, let's get started with the video. So I don't have anything on my face other than moisturizer. I did apply some skincare, some serum and moisturizer. Uh, I have to go out. So when I'm going out, usually after moisturizer, I'll apply sunscreen. So let's apply the sunscreen as well because this I think in many videos we skip on this part it is very very important so it's always important to use sunscreen I'm using the drunk elephant umbra sheer physical daily defense sunscreen it's an excellent sunscreen for day-to-day -day use it doesn't have too much of a white cast as well this is how it looks like and it is a very very hard to get sunscreen I don't know it's always out of stock in Sephora so I will take uh, like a pea size amount and then apply on the face and neck okay very very important don't miss out on sunscreen especially since I will be going out even if I am not going out usually apply a light layer of sunscreen earlier I was not so particular about sunscreen but I think my skin has faced a little bit of an issue and that's why I am just very very particular about sunscreen these days I always apply sunscreen when I'm going out uh, this still has a slight bit of a white cast so you can just apply powder on a regular basis I just apply a little bit of concealer and powder it's good to go but today we are going to do a little bit of makeup so little bit white cast is fine okay so the first product which I'm going to try out I have actually used this uh, twice or thrice before not much but I have got this quite some time back and I didn't make a video on this so I thought let me try it out on camera today with you guys so this is a Danessa Myricks yummy skin serum foundation so this is a very very hydrating lightweight foundation the packaging is a little bit torn so let me tell you the claims of this foundation. It's a skin loving skincare hybrid foundation with medium winnable coverage. It, it has a very light to medium coverage. Uh, it's formulated with ingredients known to provide antioxidant boost, balance, hydration and moisture. So this is basically a very hydrating foundation. So this is how the packaging looks like. This is how the foundation looks like. So you're supposed to give it a shake always. Like when you have hydrating liquidy foundations, always give them a shake. And then I will open it that's how the tube is like this and then I'll take just a little bit I'll try to show you that's how liquidy it is it's not like too too liquidy it's not too thick it's somewhere in between by the way I've got the shade 13 N which I feel is pretty okay I usually tend to go towards more neutralish to warm leaning more towards neutral foundations I feel like my skin has a neutral uh, undertone as well so let's see like my skin it's supposed to be warm but it's not too warm actually it has a scent to it uh, like a oil what is that oil baby oil Johnson's baby oil kind of a scent yeah <laughs> yeah it's that kind of a scent so I don't know if it's uh, like intentionally they have put the fragrance or not I'm not too sure but it does have a scent okay so it's a very lightweight hydrating foundation and I have liked it before I feel the skin I mean the foundation shade can be a little bit warmer i don't know i mean i chose the neutral tone but 
probably for this foundation i could have chosen the warm one as well that's what i felt but it's okay i guess it's it's not hard to blend it out so i'm just doing a very light coverage and i feel like suddenly <laughs> it's a bit light for me what do you guys think even if it's just a little bit light it's fine i guess because it's not full coverage i'll make it work i think when i had ordered it uh, probably in march my skin tone was a bit lighter so that time it was looking really nice now i went to the beach and <laughs> i have tanned a bit so probably that's why it's feeling a little bit lighter on me it's okay i will make it work but that's how the foundation looks like i mean i applied what probably one and a half pump and that's the kind of coverage you get it's a very uh, like a glowy coverage mind you i do have the sunscreen uh, below this so that's why it's looking extra glowy without the sunscreen it doesn't look as glowy but of course after applying powder it will be all fine even when you try to build up it's like nice regular coverage it's not too much it doesn't get too heavy it's very wearable I'll apply a little bit on the eyes as well. It always happens that we forget our eyes, eye area, whenever we apply foundation. So it's very important we apply it everywhere, especially this corners, the corners over here. Okay, the neck also. Wow, my my skin is. Super super glowy, my God! Look at that. I hope you can see. It's so glowy, oh my God! Anyways, I will set this with the powder. Before I apply the powder, I will apply a little bit of concealer. So I am using the NARS Pot Concealer, Creamy Pot Concealer, and I just use it a little bit underneath the eyes. I don't want to apply too much of concealer. I in fact don't want to apply too much makeup also today. Just trying out this foundation. Okay, so I always sit with a towel here. I always have a towel on my lap, like a makeup towel, which is usually gets very very dirty. Where I wipe my brushes, I wipe my hands. Okay, so it's not like a regular usable towel. So I always have that. It's a tip. Always, whenever you are doing your makeup, have something in front of you. Okay. Sometimes I'll have it <laughs> over here also like this, <laughs> and then I'll do like this. Okay. So that's something. Okay. Blended the concealer. Okay. So now let me apply the powder. For powder, I actually have a new product, but I'm not going to apply that. <laughs> Uh, I have this Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. You, if you have been here for a while, you guys know this is one of my favorite favorite top powder. This is what I use probably every single day. I had another one. I finished a whole tub of the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I have been using it for over two three years now. So it's expensive, but it goes for a really 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 long time. So I will highly highly recommend it. So this is the second tub. I'm so excited. It's a brand new tub, but I think. I'm not going to use it today because my skin is extra extra glowy and this is sort of a glowy powder it gives a little bit of shine and uh, we want to try the Hourglass blush palette which has shine as well so probably this one is for another video anyways I have used it so many times it's not really a new product I will use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder this is in the shade honey I have a full review video on this powder by the way the Laura Mercier I have compared it with the shade uh, regular uh, so if you want to check out that video you can do that I don't like the back of this mirror it's a little bit funny <laughs> it's uh, like it's, it's lemons The foundation is just so so glowy I mean it doesn't really set or anything I mean it will settle down on the skin but you have to have to apply powder to make it look 
nice and not so shiny if you prefer that look like a super glowy shiny look you can apply just the foundation and since today I have the sunscreen on as well it's looking extra 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 shiny okay so this powder brush is really really good this is Zoeva powder brush I love this brush so much I want to get another one okay so that's my powder done that's how my face looks like right now it's like it's it has not completely lost all of its glow it is more matte but it's not like dry matte it has a subtle glow sticking through the powder so which i like and the foundation is actually quite long wearing it will stay put if you have applied nice uh, the powder very nicely it looks natural all throughout and it gives a very nice coverage natural finish coverage so i do really like it it's only for those people who like bb creams cc creams natural cover foundations uh, you guys probably will like the foundation more if you want more coverage and you want something little less greasy something more matte then this foundation is not for you this is foundation uh, this foundation is good for dry skin people people who like bb foundations so yeah i mean i quite like it i have dry skin i am around mc 40 43 44 uh, and i have got the shade where is my foundation 13 n there is a marriage 13 n i would probably check out the warm tone also but i think this looks fine i will use bronzer like right now my skin looks a little bit too washed out i'll do my brows and come right back we will do the eyes i have a new eyeshadow palette and we will try the hourglass ambient lighting blush palette okay guys so i just did my eyebrows bronzer i have this one from huda beauty it's not exactly new the glowish bronzer but i don't really use it too much on camera so i thought i will use it on camera today i'll just show you guys so we'll do this later so i just have my eyebrows done so now let's go on to the eye makeup for eye makeup i have this beautiful palette from kaleidos it's a quad palette it's a four pan palette it's called soul brew it's a high impact high drama quad palette featuring four tantalizing shades now kaleidos is a shanghai based brand and uh, i just love their eyeshadow palette if you follow indie brand makeup then kaleidos is one of the top i think because their formulation is so so good their mattes their colorful mattes and uh, duochromatic shades oh my god they're just so so good especially in palettes they have a lot of interesting palettes so this is how the palette looks like cold brew this came out i think last year and since last year i have been thinking about this palette and finally this year i just purchased it along with their new collection so the new collection is i don't remember which what is the name of the collection i totally forgot but it has the multi-chrome uh, eyeliners and eyeshadow palette so for that i will do a separate video in this video we are going to use this beautiful palette whole brew look at the packaging it has lace packaging so so pretty beautiful beautiful packaging and it has just cool tone colors and it's a really nice like a uh, basic palette just for traveling or uh, i use these kind of colors all the time so it's a really really nice basic palette and i just love the different cool tones in here we'll use this palette uh, this one duochrome or shade that shimmery metallic duochrome shade which is here it has a lot of sparkles this one came a little bit broken cracked so i've pressed it it is fine now uh, but yeah they are their uh, duochromes usually don't do like that i think i faced this in one other palette there also i had to press it so sometimes if the if the shimmer or the metallic is a little bit too flaky then there are chances of this happening but i think it's fine i have pressed it so usually they'll have this uh, card on top so they have like mentioned which one is which so this one is a base this one is a diffusing shade this one is the accentuate shade and this one is the radiate or the lid shade that kind of like give you an idea it's so good to sit here and talk and do this video uh, for me the biggest challenge these days is like getting myself up and putting myself in this room and starting the video because there is just so much prep work which goes behind making this video the lighting set up the lighting set up the camera set up i mean i do everything alone so there is nobody to help me 
and uh, it just takes a lot of time setting up everything i have a microphone here as well which needs to be connected with the laptop so yeah it takes a lot of time and i get very lazy sometimes but <laughs> i'm realizing now as soon as the camera is turned on i am like hey i mean it's so so exciting i just love making videos but just the prep work is just so boring okay so let's get started so the makeup look which i'm doing is for uh, like a yellow outfit a yellow uh, lemon yellow uh, Indian outfit so I think I'll keep that in mind while I'm doing the makeup that's why I'm wearing a yellow mustard top uh, later you will see me in that outfit or if you have seen the intro you probably have already seen me anyways so we'll use that mid-tone shade first and just apply it oops I forgot to apply the primer one second never mind I have applied foundation so it's fine so the mid-tone shade I mean this one I'm taking this shade so this is what I will apply like almost all over the eyelid concentrating just towards the outer V so this is how I usually do my makeup also like it's quite quick even with colorful looks I usually do it quite quick so that's how this one looks like just use the right brushes I think you will be fine so you can see here I have taken a fluffier brush uh, which has a tapered end I'm concentrating my shadow here towards the outer V and then just the rest I'm blending it inwards okay and then concentrate on the crease also just try to make it look defined that's it okay then I don't want this look to be too intense so do I have a clean brush here I have this brush holder let me show you the brush holder I have got this quite recently actually from a local store here this is how my brush holder looks like so this has a cover I like this so much so if you if you can find a brush holders like this then do invest in them they are not super expensive at least here it's not that expensive so it has a cover so the brushes stay clean always and there is some nice pearl element to it so it looks quite nice you know so that's where I'm looking to find my brushes super easy they're matte so I'll just so nicely blendable I'll take another brush take the lightest shade and just blend out this color in the crease I mean for my skin tone I think this brush is not really necessary but I just want to do it since that color is there I want to do it now I am taking a pointy brush it had a little bit of color on it so that's where my towel comes in handy I did like this now it's clean well almost clean then I will take the deeper shade which is a cool toned dark brown shade this one will go in the outer V now in the outer V how do I apply I apply towards the lash line first that's my twist and I have been doing this like this since many years now and I see many makeup tutorials following the same nowadays so it makes me feel very happy that I was doing something right since so many years so first I applied in the lash line towards the lash line I mean near the lash line okay and then I take in the outer V not too much just little bit not too inside okay that's how I like my looks And it's going to be very subtle actually this look it's not going to be too intense take it a little bit in the outer V use the previous brush which I have I'll just blend it out with this brush may already have some of that color just blend it out that's it okay that's it apply some shimmer the shimmer will also go towards the like lower part of the eyes not the upper I like it when the uh, when the shimmer is towards the lower area because my eye lid is so big I don't apply, want to apply the sh the metallic shade all over my eyelid so I apply it here and then with a brush I'll take a flat brush 
but this also has some shimmer in it, I think. Clean on the towel, okay. And then just blend out. This one, this brush doesn't have anything, okay. Just blend out. So a little bit shimmer, if it goes to the top, I am fine with it. Just not, it shouldn't be too concentrated. Yes, that's it. That's the kind of look I was going for and that's what I have got. I'm so happy. This is why I had bought the eye eyeshadow palette. This is the kind of look I wanted. Very diffused, smoky eye with sparkly shimmers, like silvery, mauve shimmers. So nice. Okay, so I think I'll quickly do the rest of the eyes, like I'll put eyeliner and everything and then, then we'll come back. I hope you got an idea of how uh, the eyeshadow is going to look like. I will also have the dark eyeshadows in the lower lash line as well. So I'll do all of that and come back. Well guys, I'm back. So my eye makeup is done. Nothing much, whatever eye look I had done. Uh, that I applied a little bit more brown towards the lashes. Uh, lash line rather so that I don't have to apply a uh, eyeliner on top little bit of kajal and smoked out the lower lash line that's about it mascara and the eye look is done and I think this kind of eye look will go with my lipstick also the lipstick is the Huda Beauty lipstick I will talk about that later so this is the Huda Beauty glowish bronzer in the shade deep tan I think I have used this in previous one video or two videos I think I have used this in two videos but not too many people have watched all the videos so that's why i'll just apply it one more time in this video it's such such a beautiful bronzer i love it it's very complimentary for my skin tone and the bronzer has like a very interesting texture it's not completely powdery i mean the, how it's pressed it feels like a cream bronzer but it applies like a powder it's very very interesting texture and the shade is just so nice it's a perfect complementary bronzer shade for my skin tone and I love it. It's not completely matte also. I mean, it has slight bit of a, not exactly glowy, but it has something to it, I feel. It looks so nice. So that's why it doesn't have a mirror. I was, I was looking at it like this. Yeah, it doesn't have a mirror. I like the pattern of it also. So pretty pattern. Uh, anyways, if you're close to my skin tone, deep tan works great. I think you can get one shade lighter also if I'm not wrong. Do comment and let me know if you have used. Let other people know. And this brush which I'm using is quite old actually. It's a contour brush from Real Techniques. It has held up so well still I have it and it still it works so so well I think I'll get a new one soon because I've had this brush for so long now but nothing has happened like not much shedding real techniques brushes are really really good so uh, I'm doing this get ready with me kind of video for a look which I'm going to create for Instagram basically what I'm planning is I will do the makeup look here on YouTube and then I will uh, show you the whole look the whole outfit I'm planning sort of like uh, outfit inspo videos for Instagram and uh, so I'll get ready here and then I will show you the outfit on Instagram so if you want to see the whole look then you'll have to follow me on Instagram where I'll show you the whole look how I'm styling what outfit I'm going to wear you will probably see a little bit of the outfit here but the whole outfit what I'm going to wear you can have to check it out on Instagram I will try to do post here as well I used to do a series you know long time back uh, yeah like <laughs> really long time back uh, it used to be called dress up and makeup where I used to show you the makeup look and then the I mean show you the makeup look according to the dress what I am wearing I don't know I'm very fascinated with these kind of videos so that's the concept I'm having uh, the same concept I'm trying to bring to Instagram as well probably I'll start the same on YouTube if you're interested do let me know I don't know I really like these kind of videos to watch if you are interested to watch then I will take the effort to make the videos 
otherwise i'll do like short reels on instagram so yeah that's the bronzer done now let's go to the beautiful <sighs> hourglass ambient lighting lighting edit unlocked palette in tygo i i have never bought an hourglass palette before i had one before but that was gifted to me by my sister i find i used to find them really really expensive and i don't know uh, i just didn't find value in them and there were not many which were designed for our kind of skin tone lately our glass has been a little bit good and there are palettes which feel like they will suit my skin tone and this one is probably the deepest one they have uh, this year so i thought let me get it i actually really wanted to get the elephant one elephant is like my favorite animal i have the elephant shantike uh, eye shadow as well i love elephants anything elephants even in sarees i will look for elephant patterns i just love the you know elephant it's just so cute i really wanted to get the elephant but it was not as a pretty <laughs> this palette just is so pretty to look at and uh, i don't know this one looked a little bit more for my skin tone probably the elephant one also will be okay but this one probably just i felt like this one will, will be better for my skin tone so this one is the tiger version let me open it and show you this is like a thin packaging uh okay it's not opening and it has a magnetic closure and this is how the palette looks like oh it had a bronzer inside i could have used this bronzer i completely forgot oh my god i was just thinking blush and highlight blush and highlight but yeah this has a bronzer inside i think i will do a separate video on this this is like not a review video because today is the first time i'm going to use it uh, i will do a separate video where i'll show you all the shades and how they perform and all that but today we will probably use let me see if i have the shade names here they don't have the shade names but uh, i can tell you that this first one is a finishing powder then the second one is a stroke powder this one stroke powder is like their highlighting formula which is very intense i have not tried before then third one is blush which is a uh, which is i think called burnished glow blush i have not tried before then this one is a metallic stroke powder divine strobe light it's also a highlighter then we have another stroke powder copper flash strobe light this is also like probably a blush shade on me it's a highlighter and then we have iridescent rose which is a blush hourglass blush i love i mean that's probably one of the most used blushes i will show you which one i use so this one this one is the luminous flush blush this is like my everyday go to blush it is so so pretty it just gives a nice blush on the cheeks very subtle pink and it has a slight bit of a glow perfect for every day really nice so that's why i thought let's get this palette and try some other blushes so mostly today i'm going to try the blush itself probably i'll try this one the iridescent rose blush that will look nicer with what i have that's how the palette looks like just a close up for you that's how the palette looks like super pretty Oh, this is pretty also so our glass blushes are usually will have a light bit of a shine they have highlighter already inbuilt in them that's why they are called our glass ambient lighting blush they'll give you a nice glow on the face and you don't need highlighter that's why i love these blushes also whenever i am in a hurry and otherwise too i just use these blushes you don't need to apply another product it's just so, so beautiful and i use other blushes when i feel like okay i need to use the other blushes too i need to use the highlighters too that's when i use the other blushes otherwise i love using this one it's so easy and i love this brush for this kind of blushes this is zoeva lux highlight brush i use the same for my blush okay for lipstick by popular demand i have i had recently done a video the huda beauty lipstick video where i swatched all the huda beauty lipstick i had by popular demand a lot of you said get the shade third date 
and this was in my shopping list i wanted to get this for a long time but it had been out of stock but then somebody told me get the shade third date and then i remembered that oh i didn't get the shade third date so so i got the shade third date and i love it i i just love it it's so beautiful it's like a everyday rosy pinky red kind of a color with a little mauve nude thrown in it i hope the swatch is clear that's how third date looks like this is an addition for the huda beauty lipstick swatch lipstick uh, swatch video i had done let me apply this it's just so pretty like it's a pink basically but it's like a not too deep pink but it's not too berry pink also it's really really nice it's it's absolutely perfect i love it i'm so glad i got it and uh, of course on the formula what to say i have done a full review video on the huda beauty lipsticks so if you want to see other swatches and uh, other shades then of course do watch that video i will link it in the description box but one lipstick which definitely definitely needed to be in that video is the huda beauty lipstick in the shade third date i love it thank you so much for the recommendation i just love it okay so that's my finished makeup look uh, i'm going to change to my ethnic outfit which i am styling today for instagram and i'll just get out of this thing and uh, yeah be bye bye okay well, guys so here is the completed look with the outfit and one of the jewelry items if you want to see the entire look and the styling of this outfit then do follow me on instagram i hope this makeup tutorial was also enjoyable helpful you got some ideas this is the makeup look turned out today it's a very simple easy going makeup look which you can wear with almost any of the outfits and for this outfit i'm trying to show uh, you how yellow is going to look with turquoise blue so that's the idea of the outfit and yeah do let me know how you like this makeup look if you have any questions regarding any of the products then do let me know in the comment section below i will do a separate dedicated video on this product for sure thank you so much for watching me today if you like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you are watching for the first time i really hope you consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much again i will see you again really soon in my next video bye